Hey everybody, um, I'm just sharing my spreadsheet that I made for my own College Football 25 uh, Dynasty. It kind of evolved over the course of my first Dynasty. Um, it's just designed to track everything that I wish the game would track. And so, um, for anybody that likes stuff like, uh, like this and likes, you know, being able to go back and look at stuff this may be for you. So first of all, this features um, a yearly uh, tab here. And so this is the yearly template. You just copy this and then rename it to the year. I started with 2024 to kind of show everybody how it's supposed to work, but um, you have your recruiting stuff here. So you, you know, you have your position of need um, and then a reason. So you got a graduation coming up or somebody might go pro or somebody's a bitch and might transfer or you just need some depth, uh, you type the player out there, um, give them the rating, say where, where they're from, and it's got the dev traits here as well. Um, this also tracks um, your schedule here, and the conference championships, and the college football playoff rankings, um, and the, type in their record, and then it'll also have the games here, and has the locations, as well as the bowl games, um, and the host cities for the national championship game. Um, so let's go ahead and look at your schedule here. So you can type in a ranking and then say you're playing Air Force and you beat them. Now you have a, uh, a win in your win column now. Or if you lost to them, it would be a loss. Um, so this does that for you. And then, so say you win one and you lose one. So you've got that on there. Now if you go down here to the yearly results tab, season wins. You have one and one on the 2024 season. Um, and so assuming you're the offensive coordinator, your head coach running total is going to be zero. But if you do switch to head coach, um, if you are a head coach for that season, it will populate in this head coach running total as well. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to put it as OC. And then I'm going to create a duplicate sheet here of the yearly template. And we're going to name it 2025. And say we win two and lose one so far in 2025. So on this, um, you have to set your role over here. So we're a head coach for this year. And then click on reference here. So you see the formula. And then click enter to submit it and that'll populate your cells here with the appropriate information i would do this before the season starts just you know select your role select where you're at and then this will automatically populate every time you log that you have won a game and notice how you uh, were two and one as a head coach and so it shows that on here but if you switch this one to head coach and so you have your first season as one and one these also add on to it so it's three and two um, or if you choose that this one is an OC, then you're back to one and one. So these, uh, these filters here, um, help this to kind of keep track of what you're doing, um, and how many games you've won, which I thought was pretty cool. And so, uh, additionally in this uh, yearly template, uh, it has the conferences, and this is from the base game. So you can, you know, choose uh, where you play your conference championship, whether or not you have divisions, the number of conference games. And then this is my favorite thing. First of all, all the teams have their own colors, which I thought was pretty cool. But you can rearrange these to keep track of your conference standings. So, you know, you can rearrange these so you can go back and look and see, hey, you know, I'm playing... Um, middle Tennessee in the championship game, how in the hell did they get here? What kind of bullshit conference did they come from? And then you can see. And then you can also track your conference realignments um, as they evolve in your game, which I thought was pretty nifty. And then also, uh, if you're adding a team, I left uh, a blank here for conference expansion, so you just copy and paste that. So say we're going to put Army in the ACC. Um... You just go down here and click Army. 
and then over in the American, um, you can either replace them or you can delete them entirely from the list, whatever. Um, and so you can do that. Um, so yeah, this is, um, kind of how this spreadsheet works. Um, it also has places for, uh, you to write down your transfer targets, your transfers away, the job offers that you got, and then who passed you up so that if they come calling, you know, next time when you're well established, you can give them the middle finger because they didn't believe in you. Uh, from the get-go, you can write notes about your season. So I like to put down my award winners or like if my coordinators take another job or whatever. And then lastly, you have your player's drafted history. And so this is set up so that you can write down uh, what role you are, what school you're at. And so say I'm the head coach at Tennessee. So I'll put head coach, Tennessee, and we're going to have James Pierce going in the first round. So he's a D end and say, I'm a head coach. So the way this is set up, I'm not the best with uh, spreadsheets, but the way this is set up, if you're a head coach, put it in this column. If you're a coordinator, put it in that column, but this populates these tables here. So as a head coach, you have one player drafted and they were from the first round as a coordinator, you have no players drafted. But your career total overall, you have one player drafted and they were in the first round. And additionally, it's sorted by position. So you have you can go down here to DN. You have one total DN drafted and they were in the first round. And this is your career totals. You can also sort it by head coach totals. So you got one DN in the first round. And then here's your coordinator totals. No DNs in the first round. No DNs anywhere. Um... And so that's kind of set up to keep your running total going. So you can go and, you know, take a look at, okay, I've, I've gotten a ton of, you know, offensive linemen drafted, but maybe I'm not the best at developing tight ends. And uh, you can kind of see how your career goes um, from there. But you have to use the uh, positions as they are written here. So they're all um, exactly how you would see them in recruiting. You know, this is not specific to left end or right end or like left outside backer or right outside backer. It's just, you know, one. Because frankly, I'm not going to do that much work. Um, the side of the, you know, the side of the line or whatever doesn't matter to me. And then also I put running back because Madden and NCAA football are the only things that ever call a running back a halfback still. Um, so I just wrote running back, whatever. Uh, but like I said, you have to use those when you type it in, but yeah, um, that's kind of, uh, what I've got going here. Um, let me know what you think. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, um, feel free to comment wherever you found this. So this video obviously is going to go on YouTube, but I'm going to share it to like Reddit and to the Facebook groups. So wherever, just hit me up. Um, should be good to go. Um, this is like the third time I've recorded this video because I found random bugs in the, in the thing, but I think it's good to go now. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, let me know and, um, feel free to make yourself a copy and, uh, and use the, uh, use the template here because I think this is a tremendous, um, I think this is a tremendously helpful tool for myself. Um, instead of having to write stuff in a notebook or, you know, having to keep track of stuff by hand. Um, why don't we make the uh, computer do it for you? Um, so yeah, uh, let me know what you think and I'll talk to you later.